Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today Kitty and I are going to paint your own Dougie. We have a white Dougie figure, five different colors of paints, and some stickers for his face. We have blue, and we have three different colors of brown, and there's also a yellow. There's a little yellow paintbrush. And Dougie faces and badges. Here's our Dougie. And the set also comes with a paintbrush badge. We can add it to our collection. Let's get the real Dougie so we can compare and see what colors he is. Which face should we put on Dougie? I like the happy face. Now we're ready to paint. What color of brown should we use? This one looks the closest to the real Dougie. Uh-oh, this paint looks sticky and dry. I think we better try and add some water to it because there's not much paint coming onto the brush. There, a little water helped. It's still going to be a little bit chunky. The plastic Dougie is so smooth, the paint doesn't stick to it very well. We may have to do a couple layers of paint. Don't get paint on your nose, kitty. There, we finished the first layer of Dougie's head. Now we need to let it dry. We also need to do the base brown. His pants are the color of mustard yellow. Let's see if we have a paint that's close to that color. This looks pretty close. Let's try and use this paint for his pants. Ooh, this paint is dry and sticky too. Let's add some water and see if that'll help. I think we added too much water, so we'll soak some up with a tissue. This paint isn't gonna go on very well. We may have to just stick to the brown that we had. So we've completed the first layer of paint on his head and his pants. We've allowed the brown paint to dry for a few hours and now it's time to put on the second layer. Let's clean off our brush, and now we wait for the second layer to dry. Dougie has a yellow shirt. 
So let's open up the yellow paint we have. Again, it is dry and sticky. Even adding water is probably not going to work. We're going to have to use some different paint. Let's take this off. And we dug out an acrylic paint we had in our tiny treasures bin. Now we'll let the paint dry another couple of hours, and then we can add some sticker badges. Okay, Dougie's all dry. Let's add the Super Squirrel badge. And we'll add one more badge, the Cake badge. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we have in the night garden finger puppet toys and they're gonna mix paints with us. It's very relaxing to watch paints mix. We have green, blue, and red. Let's see what colors we get when we mix them. We can make designs. Ooh, look at that. Oh, and I hear a special guest coming. Kitty is checking out the paint. She says, what is this? What is this? Don't put your foot or paw in the paint, Kitty. Ooh, what colors are you seeing? I'm seeing lots of purple. I think that's the color with red, green, and blue mixed together. Yep, some purple. Kitty's very interested, aren't you, Kitty? Hi, Kitty. Okay, let's mix more colors. Now we have some new colors. We have the colors of the Twirly Woos. Blue for Great Big Who, yellow for Chickadee and Chick, and red for Toodaloo. Let's start mixing our paints. And these are the primary colors. Oh, look at this pretty design. What color will this make? We'll stir and mix. It's so relaxing to watch paint being mixed. Mix and mix. And what color are we starting to see? I think we're going to see sort of a grayish brown. There we go. You mix all the primary colors and you've made a brown color. And thank you for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. The kids and I have been having so much fun painting rocks this summer and Tiny Treasures painted this adorable little car and camper trailer. Let's go see some of the other rocks outside, Peppa. Ooh, there's a rock with a sunset, a butterfly, and some dandelions that have seeded. Peppa wants us to show us some very special rocks. They have some of our favorite characters on them. Here they are on the swing. Oh, it's Mummy Pig and Daddy Pig. And it looks like Daddy Pig has gotten some flowers for Mummy Pig. These rocks were very simple to make. First, I 
found a Peppa Pig magazine. And I cut out a picture of one of the Peppa Pig characters. I had to be very careful. Peppa has very slim arms and tiny fingers. I painted my rock blue and green. Blue for the sky and green for grass. But you can paint your rock any color, like maybe even rainbow. Oh, look who's come to visit. It's Puppy. He loves to hang out with us outside. After the paint has dried, I modge podge my picture onto the rock. Hmm, I wonder where the Peppa and George rocks are. Let's go have a look. George really likes the gnome mushroom. And there is our George rock. And right behind him are more of the rocks that Tiny Treasures and I have painted together. Let's go find your rock, Peppa. Oh, Peppa has an idea where it can be. She loves to paint fairy house rocks. And there is the Peppa Rock. Hooray! She's wearing her red dress. Oh, but the dress Peppa's wearing today has a yellow flower on it. We have had so much fun painting rocks, and you could do it at home too. All you need is acrylic paints, paint brushes, and some sealer. And if you enjoy our videos, please hit the link below to subscribe and support our channel. Thank you and goodbye! Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today, Daniel Tiger and baby Margaret are going to paint a picture together for their mom. They have a blue craft cupboard. Let's open it up and see what's inside. Hmm, let's see, what are we going to need? Here is your little paints and paint brushes. And we, of course, need the palette. Let's see what colors Daniel has painted with. Green, pink, white, blue, purple, yellow, orange, and black. We have a craft cupboard at home, and we love to do crafts. Let's have a peek inside. There's a light bright, mini pom-pom pets. Down here we have string art, bunchums, and felted friends. Down below we have a whole bunch of different color of beads. We love to make jewelry. And here is our paint palette. We like to paint too. We keep all of our paints in this little flower box. Daniel Tiger knows that he can't paint without his mom's help. Paint can stain furniture, carpet, or anything around us. So it's important that we have help from an adult. And it's also important to protect our clothing. Daniel and his sister have their own paint smocks. Baby Margaret's has flowers, and Daniel's is orange. They're all ready to paint. Daniel is going to start with the color light blue. They each take turns painting the picture. What do you think they're painting? Oh, it's just beautiful, you two. I love it. You did a great job. I see a lake and grass and all different colors of trees. I will hang it in the living room for everyone to see. After any arts or crafts, it's important to clean up. Okay guys, it's time to clean up our mess. We rinse off the paint brushes and put all of the paints back in the compartments.
Now that all of the paints are put away, Daniel and his sister can remove their paint smocks. And everything goes back into the cupboard. And thank you so much for coming to Tiny Treasures. Please subscribe to our videos. Goodbye. Hello and welcome to Tiny Treasures. Today we're going to have fun with our Water Wonder Peppa Pig Festival of Mud Book. And I love anything with water. Have you seen our Olaf surfboard surfing in the waves video? Check it out. Oh, and there is our muddy Peppa. She loves to play in the mud. Pigs like mud because it keeps them cool and it also acts as a sunscreen. Or maybe they roll in the mud to keep the bugs off. All right, we filled our water wonder pen with water, but it says after filling the pen, we wait one minute before use. And then we empty the pen after we're done using it so that bacteria and maybe harmful molds won't build up in the water. So we'll start by opening it up and it's a story. Peppa is going to the children's festival. She's so excited. It's a big outdoor party with lots to see and do. But what will Peppa wear? After filling your pen, use it to reveal what's under the white water spots. Decorate Peppa's outfit for the children's festival Reveal what Peppa brought, too. I love Peppa's dress. Peppa finds Miss Rabbit in the Making Things tent. Today we're going to make something from the olden days, says Mrs. Rabbit. Peppa wants to make a dragon. Help Peppa design her dragon. Oh, it looks like Peppa made a green dragon. Oh, it has two different color ears. Very cute. Oh, and it has polka dots all over it. Next, Daddy Pig tells Papa they are staying at the festival overnight. Peppa and her family will be camping. But not every family likes to camp. Susie Sheep and her family go glamping. Glamping is like camping but with lots of home comforts, says Mummy Sheep. Decorate Susie's glamping area. Ooh, there's different colored stars on the tent. What colors do you see? And how many stars are on the tent? The next day, Peppa and her family go to make sand castles. But since it's been raining, the children won't make sand castles. They'll make mud castles. Help Peppa design her mud castle. And it looks like she's made four different mud castles. I see flowers, a leaf, a little twig, and more flowers. Mummy Pig suggests they paint pictures in the painting tent next. Instead of using paint, we're using mud, says Miss Rabbit. Use your pen to reveal what everyone paints. Danny Dog has painted an ice cream cone and Pedro Pony has painted a tulip. Rebecca Rabbit has painted a horse. And George Pig painted his dinosaur. There's brown mud, greenish mud, and even a little blue mud. 
What does Peppa paint? She has painted a sun. And what color of mud did Peppa use? Before Peppa and her family go home, there's one thing left to do. Jump up and down in muddy puddles. Hee 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 hee. Everyone loves muddy puddles. And Peppa loves the children's festival. Use your pen to discover how muddy everyone gets at the children's festival. Very muddy. Well, I hope you enjoyed our story. And now I need to empty the water out of my pen so it can dry. And I need to let the pages in the book dry. If I can get the pen open. Please hit the link below to subscribe. Thank you and goodbye.